Elon Musk finally unveiled plans for space robots. Robots are starting to take center stage in the harsh, unforgiving world of space exploration, ceaselessly performing tasks that humans are unable to. These mechanical wonders, built to resist the harsh conditions of the universe, have become humanity's eyes, ears, and hands in the wide expanse of space. Robots are our stand-ins while we try to solve the universe's mysteries, because they have traveled to places where humans have not gone, from the frigid moons of Jupiter to the parched plains of Mars. Likewise, Elon Musk predicts that by the 2040s, there will be about 1 billion humanoid robots. Will some of these humanoid robots be intended for space exploration? Let's find out in today's episode. Hey folks, and welcome back to Elon Musk Evolution, where we bring you the most recent news about Elon Musk and his multi-billion dollar companies, space news, and the latest science and technology. But before we begin, please subscribe to our channel and click the bell icon so you don't miss any of our amazing videos. Billionaire Elon Musk agreed with the fellow tech leader's projection that, in 20 years, there will be roughly 1 billion humanoid robots on Earth, and he expressed this agreement on social media. Musk agreed with David Holtz, the founder of Midjourney, an artificial intelligence research center, and his prognosis on X, which was originally Twitter. Holes stated in a previous post that we should be expecting a billion humanoid robots on Earth in the 2040s and a hundred billion, mostly alien robots, throughout the solar system in the 2060s. Musk's response was, probably something like that, provided the foundation of civilization are stable. Musk may believe that the human race will achieve that ambitious goal in 20 years, thanks to the development of a humanoid robot prototype by Tesla, one of the companies he established. And so, why do we send robots to space? One cannot overstate the role that robots play in space exploration. As the first to study far-off celestial bodies and establish the foundation for upcoming human expeditions, they are at the forefront of our cosmic curiosity. With their many capabilities, robots have grown to be an essential component of our space exploration missions, offering priceless information and new perspectives that have completely changed our perception of the universe. Space exploration presents a wide range of difficulties, but robots provide a workable answer. Human astronauts find space missions to be dangerous and inhospitable due to their harsh surroundings, high temperatures, and extended duration. These challenges, however, do not affect robots. They don't need to eat or rest for years or even decades because they can endure the harsh radiation of space and function in extremely hot and cold environments. Furthermore, robots are our ambassadors for science. With an array of scientific instruments at their disposal, they are able to do soil analyses in strange environments, drill into alien rocks, and even look for indications of life, all the while sending back an endless supply of data to Earth. They are a living example of our scientific abilities, reaching beyond planets and their moons to explore distant worlds. Robots are collaborators in space exploration, not merely instruments. They carry our dreams and hopes to the stars as they travel with us through space. The importance of robots will only increase as we approach a new era of exploration that looks to carry humans to Mars and beyond. They will still be our protectors, our pioneers, and our pathfinders as we continue to forge ahead into the last frontier. In this video, we'll take a closer look at the fascinating world of space robots, looking at their applications now, perspective usage down the road, and the latest innovations in this quickly developing industry. There are many stories in the annals of space exploration of robotic pioneers that have traveled into space and served as our emissaries in the vastness of space. These robotic explorers represent important turning points in our understanding of the cosmos and have not just increased our reach into it. Robots were first utilized in space missions mainly for data collection and reconnaissance purposes. The first artificial object to land on the moon was the Soviet Union's Luna 2, which launched in 1959 and marked the beginning of the era of robotic space exploration. 
but the NASA Mariner and Voyager missions of the 1960s and 70s were what brought to light the possibilities of robotic explorers. These missions gave us our first up-close looks at the far-off planets in our solar system and taught us a great deal about their geological and atmospheric features. Another important turning point came with the Viking missions to Mars in the mid-1970s. Being the first to land on Mars safely and conduct experiments, the Viking landers gave us priceless information on the surface and atmosphere of the planet. Spirit and Opportunity, two rovers that have since come to represent Mars exploration, were made possible by these missions. When Spirit and Opportunity, the Mars Exploration Rovers, were launched in 2003, their mission was intended to last 90 Martian days, also known as Sols. Nevertheless, Spirit continued to operate until 2010, and Opportunity until 2018, both well over their anticipated lifespans. These rovers changed our understanding of Mars profoundly by making a number of groundbreaking discoveries, such as proof of previous water activity on the planet. Launched in 1997, the Cassini-Huygens mission to Saturn marks yet another important turning point in robotic space research. An abundance of information about Saturn, its rings, and its moons was provided by this mission, which was a joint venture between NASA, the European Space Agency, and the Italian Space Agency. In 2005, the Huygens probe accomplished an historic first landing in the outer solar system when it touched down on Titan, the biggest moon of Saturn. Robots are essential to space exploration as demonstrated by these and numerous other missions. They have gone to where no human has gone before, navigating dangerous situations and suffering the harsh reality of space travel. As our eyes and ears in space, they have sent us a plethora of information that has deepened our comprehension of the cosmos. With their continued contribution to preparing the way for human space exploration, robots will only play an increasingly important role in space exploration in the future. Furthermore, space robots' role is expected to grow. NASA's Artemis program, which aims to create a permanent presence on the Moon, begins in 2024. A portion of the construction, structure building, and payload delivery to the Moon will be done by robots. They will even provide company for astronauts. It turns out that using robots to launch spacecraft instead of humans is more efficient. They cost a fraction of what they do, and they also carry a fraction of the risk. So, let's take a look at a few of these space robots to gain a better understanding of their applications. These semi-autonomous devices, which range from all-terrain robo-dogs to space junk-collecting claws, can operate in extreme environments in zero gravity to support space missions and automate space research. Starting with Kadri, a trio of mini rovers. Rovers go throughout the terrain and collect samples of a surface's crust in order to obtain first-hand information about moons and planets. Kadri, a trio of self-governing, shoebox-sized rovers designed to function as a team, was developed by NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory as a result of their success. Numerous sensors and two stereo cameras are equipped on each four-wheeled robot. The tiny rovers cooperate to build a network as they survey surfaces and take measurements separately and exchange radio signals with one another. A mission with multiple robots is planned for 2024. During that mission, the small rovers will explore the moon's rain or gamma region for a full lunar day or roughly 14 Earth days. The goal of this exploration is to create a three-dimensional topographic map of the moon's surface and triple the efficiency of past solo missions. Glimpse, a space-bound robodog. There will be canines in space again, but they will be robots this time. Glimpse is a quadrupedal robot that will be used to navigate the difficult terrain of the moon's south polar region. It is thought that this region contains valuable resources such as metals, water, and oxygen contained in rock reservoirs that could be used to build structures or sustain life during lunar-based operations. Glimpse is based on the robotics used to build the viral robodog, Animal. Developed by the public research university ETH Zurich, the space-bound RoboDog is equipped with a range of zoom lens spectrometers that are capable of identifying different sorts of rocks. Glimpse may be hired by the European Space Agency for lunar exploration within the next 10 years, depending on testing results. OSAM-1, a satellite repair robot. 
Just 7,800 of the 10,290 or so satellites in orbit around the Earth are in use. NASA's Goddard Space Flight Center is developing OSAM-1, an autonomous spacecraft intended to repair old satellites that were not intended to be maintained in an effort to extend their average lifespan, which is currently only expected to be 10 years at most. In order to facilitate space-based building, OSAM-1 has three robotic arms, a propellant transfer system, and a real-time navigation system that enable it to refuel, reposition, and repair faulty satellites. 2026 will mark the launch of its first mission, which will involve refueling the Landsat 7 satellite while putting together and attaching an antenna and boom mid-flight. R5 Valkyrie, an all-electric, remote-controlled humanoid. It should be noted that NASA's remote-controlled humanoid R5, dubbed Valkyrie, may never reach orbit. Nevertheless, this 6'2", 300-pound bipedal prototype has been in development since 2013 and acts as a model for all other models, including Apollo. Valkyrie can move using many tiny motors to give the body 44 degrees of freedom and see through a variety of cameras, sensors, and an infrared transparent faceplate shielding a LiDAR sensor. According to NASA, Valkyrie may be used in the Artemis missions where the robot would be used to prepare long-term living compounds on Mars or the Moon. Mira, a tiny surgical robot. Mira is a time and space efficient robotic assisted surgical system. The minimally invasive gadget, which weighs only two pounds, can be carried from room to room and perform laparoscopic surgery with a single incision without requiring equipment to be moved or draped. After NASA granted a $100,000 grant to its developers at the University of Nebraska Lincoln, Mira is now being evaluated as a potential tool for emergency medical intervention during space flight. Launched in 2024, the handheld surgical robot will do mock surgeries on board the International Space Station. Clear Space One, an outer space trash collector. A half-ton spacecraft called Clear Space One is designed to remove junk. Its four robotic arms, which resemble claw machines, make up its primary body. These spacecraft, created by the Swiss startup Clear Space, are intended to collect space debris, such as defunct satellites or leftover rocket propellant, and then deorbit it by making a fast-moving, destructive re-entry into Earth's atmosphere. Clear Space One, along with the European Space Agency, will remove a 200-pound, 10-year-old obsolete rocket component the size of a washing machine on its maiden voyage in March 2025. The 86 million euro project, if it is successful, will be the first attempt to clean the space, with more than 200,000 items still to be removed. EELS, the bionic space snake. The EELS project, which stands for Exobiology Extent Life Surveyor, is being created by NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory to look for indications of life that may be concealed beneath the frozen surface of the Saturn moon Enceladus. The terrain of the celestial body, which is home to more than 100 geysers that shoot water, vapor, and ice particles into space, served as inspiration for modeling the slithery anatomy of snakes and eels. The 13-foot bionic serpent is supposed to map, traverse, and explore the subterranean ocean on its own after descending into these small vents. This space robot can curve around intraglacial labyrinths, subterranean lava tunnels, and steep craters, according to NASA's website. And finally, we'll talk about Tesla Optimus humanoid robot Gen 2. With a new video showcasing the robot performing squats and picking up an egg, Tesla is demonstrating the development of their prototype humanoid robot, dubbed Optimus Gen 2. Optimus, in his updated form, performs various hand gestures, picks up an egg, squats in a gym, and walks about the Cybertruck plant. Two robots named Optimus showcase their dancing skills in a short section that serves as the grand finale. The bipedal, general-purpose humanoid robot is advertised as having the ability to carry out tedious, repetitive, or dangerous tasks. Elon Musk stated in the video that the Gen 2 robot can walk 30% faster than earlier models and has a 2DOF actuated neck along with actuators and sensors designed by Tesla. Having said all that, do you think humanoids will replace human astronauts in the future? Share your thoughts in the comment box below, and that's where you can suggest topics you'd like to see next. Please subscribe and don't forget to like today's video, and we'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.